In this video, we're going to actually get into Google Earth. We're going to place our pictures into uh, Placemark and get started on the actual powers of 10. So uh, a good place to start is by going where we're going. So where is Windermere School? Well, it's Windermere Boulevard School, so let's zoom right into there. Amherst, New York, just outside of Buffalo. There it is. So that's where I'm going to start. I can now turn this off now that I'm in the right place. And I was on the playground, right on this structure. And I'm going to call it Windermere Playground. And for right now, I'm going to click OK. Uh, and always puzzle why it doesn't always save it. And try that again. And to uh, rename that, I'm going to go to uh, Get Info in the Macintosh and its properties on the PC. And we'll call it Windermere Playground again. And click OK. And this time it's going to work. See? See? What did I tell you? Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that my um, settings are such that it'll record in decimal degrees. For Mac users, you're going to go to your Google Earth menu and go to Preferences and check that. Um, and you can set it in different ways, but I want it set in decimal degrees. For PC users, you're going to go to your Tools menu and you'll find this under Options. I've spoken to Google engineers about this and they blame the engineers at uh, Windows and at Apple for this difference. Why that matters will come up in the next little video, but we do want to get that set so that it's again for uh, decimal degrees. Now what we'll do is we'll go here and we'll go um, make sure that our place mark is highlighted and we're going to um, go to Get Info on the Macintosh and Properties on the PC. And here we're going to post, paste in the embed code for the picture, uh, for our first picture. And that means going over to our web browser and going to our first picture, this one right here. And we want to link to this photo. And um, I like the larger of the two medium size. And you can see I've got this embed image code here. I copy that. I go back over to Google Earth. Earth and with this open, I paste it in. Uh, and I like to insert a couple of breaks in between my pictures. And I'm going to label this as uh, one centimeter by one centimeter and 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter boxes. And then I'm going to put a couple more breaks underneath that. And this is HTML code, the uh, uh, BR inside the angle brackets. And that will allow me to uh, um, have a little bit of space in between my pictures. Let's see what it looks like when I've got just that one picture in there. I click on it. And there we are, and you can see my label underneath. And I think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to uh, open it up again uh, in Get Info on the Mac and Properties on the PC, and I'm going to insert the next picture. Uh, and I'm going to pause. So I click on the album name to get to the next picture, and here's that next picture. Link to this photo. I, again, like the larger medium or yeah, the larger medium picture, and I flip back over to Google Earth, paste that in below my other stuff, make the same kind of label and such, and let's see what it looks like. And there it is, and I'm going to pause again and do the last picture and come back. So I've pasted in um, the embed codes for all three pictures, and now when I look at the place mark, it looks like this. I added a little bit more text, and I actually also uh, deleted one of the breaks right after and uh, added um, a break uh, after, right after the picture and before the text. So that's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good.